Now we are going to understand exercise 1.2 and exercise 1.3 in this video. So we are going to understand what we mean by arithmetic progression. So a sequence in which there is a common difference is called an arithmetic progression. So in order to understand what do you mean by common difference and how do we come to know whether 1, 4, 7 and 10 are 80 or not, let us understand this example. So if you take the second term and subtract the first term out of it, which means 4 minus 1, you get a 3. Then if you take the third term and then you subtract the second term, you get 7 minus 4, which is again a 3. So 7 minus 4 is again a 3. And then if you take the fourth term and then if you take the third term and subtract them, you get 10 minus 7, which is again a 3. So if there is a common difference of 3, so we can say that in this case, the common difference t is 3. Therefore, this sequence is an AB. Now, let us understand this. 30, 27, 24, 21. So if you subtract 27 and 30, so the second term minus the first term, so 27 minus 30 gives us a negative 3. Negative because the numbers are decreasing. Then if you take the third term minus the second term, you get 24 minus 27 and you get a negative 3 again, which is 24 minus 27. Now 21 minus 24. So the fourth number minus the third number is 24 minus 21 minus 24, which is again a negative 3. So again you can see that there is a common difference of minus 3, negative 3. Negative because the numbers are decreasing. But this is still an arithmetic progression. But what if, let us suppose the next number is um, let's say 19. So let's say we continue with the question. The next number is 90. So we can state that the fifth number minus the fourth number is 19 minus 21. And 19 minus 21 is negative 2. So though we are getting negative 3 three times, but we are not getting negative 3 the fourth time, this unfortunately would not be an arithmetic progression. In fact, it won't be a proper sequence also. So you need to understand that you need to get a common difference all the times. If you do not get a common difference even one time, it is not an A. Now, we shall understand this formula. If you want to find the nth term of an AP, of an AP, use the following formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d where this tn means the nth term or the nth number let's say if n is 5 tn would be the fifth term, the fifth number or it could also mean in many of the sums last term or sometimes it also means the general term or the general number so tn means the nth term, last term or the general term a means the first term, the first number. So if you have, uh, let's say, a sequence like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is an AP and the value of A would be 1 because it starts from 1. N is the number of numbers and D is the common difference. In this case, the common difference is also 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2 is also 1. So the common difference is 1. So we always use this formula in order to find the nth term. Sometimes this formula is also used to find a or n or sometimes even d. Let us understand. Find the 25th term of the AP. 12, 16, 20, 24. So we are asked to find the 25th number. What is term number 25? If you keep on writing this, if the first number is 12, the second number is 16, the third number is 20, the fourth number is 24, what should be the 25th number? So let us understand how to solve this. So first we will write the information. The first number A is 12, which is this. 
The common difference is the second number minus the first number, which in this case is 16 minus 12. As I put this arrow, 16 minus 12, which is 4. So the common difference is 4. And for this particular sum, for this particular case, n is 24. Why is n said to be 25? Because we have a 25 written over here. So this number stands for n for that particular case. Remember, the value of n may change even within the sum. So now we are going to write down the formula. And the formula is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. T25 is equal to the first number was 12 plus in this case the value of n is 25 so 25 minus 1 into 4 and then on substitution we get on for the solving we get 24 into 4 so this is 12 plus 4 plus 16 1 carry 2 plus 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So we get um, 108. So the 25th number is 108. Let's try this one. Find Tn where T3 is 22, T17 is negative 20. So we are given the information that the third term is 22 and the 17th term or 17th number is minus 20. So what is the general formula for Tn? What does this mean? This basically means that if we write some numbers, the third number is 22. And then the fourth number we don't know, the fifth number we don't know, all the way till this 17th number. The 17th number is negative 20. So what, what could be the first number and what could be the common difference? That is what we are going to analyze and find. So in order to solve this, we are going to use the simultaneous linear equation. Which means that first of all we are going to write the formula of Tn. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. And in this particular case, we know that the value of n is 3. We will write T3. So n is 3. This is equal to a plus 3 minus 1 into d. We neither know a, we neither know d. But the value of t3 is 22. This is equal to a plus 2d. We will put this as step number 1, or equation number 1. Then, again we will write the formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. Now we are going to see this particular case, where we have n is equal to 17. So t17 is equal to a plus 17 minus 1 into t. But t17 is negative 20 is equal to a plus 16d. We will put this as equation number 2. And then we are going to add 1 and 2. Or rather we are going to subtract 1 and 2. Because we have a, a in both the cases. So let's say what is 2 minus 1 or 1 minus 2. So negative 20 is equal to a plus 16d and then we have 22 is equal to a plus 2d we will subtract means we are going to change the signs all the three numbers and we have a minus a cancels out what is negative 20 minus 22 minus and minus is plus 22 plus 20 is 42 sign of the greater one is minus is equal to and what is 16d minus 2d so 16d minus 2d is 14d. Then we will scroll it down. So minus 42 over 14 is equal to d. Therefore d is equal to 4 3 are 4 6. 14 3 are 42. So we got d as negative 3. Now we are going to substitute. We are going to substitute d is equal to negative 3 in any of the equation, let's say equation number 1. So we have 22 is equal to a plus 2d. So we have 22 is equal to a plus 2 into negative 3. So we have 22 is equal to a 
minus 6. 2 into negative 3 is minus 6. Minus 6 comes from this side becomes plus 6. So we have a is equal to 28. So in order to find the general term, again we use the formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. So Tn, we do not know the value of n, it's a general term. So n will remain n. And a is 28, as we just got. n minus 1 will remain n minus 1. And common difference is negative 3. So, Tn is equal to 28. And negative 3 into n is negative 3n. Negative 3 into negative 1 is plus 3. Positive. So Tn is equal to like terms together 28 plus 3 is 31 minus 3. So this is the answer to the question. Let's do another sum. How many three digit natural numbers are divisible by 4? So three digit numbers they start from 100 all the way till 999. But we are only interested in those numbers which are divisible by 4 and we need to count how many numbers are there between 100 and 999 which are divisible by 4. So as we know the first number should be 100 because 100 goes in the table of 4. The next number is 104, 4 more than 100, 108, 112, all these numbers are divisible by 4 all the way till 996 because 996 is also divisible by 4. If you divide 996 by 4 you will get a remainder 0. And then the next number after 996 is 1000. But 1000 becomes a 4 digit number. So 1000 is not allowed. So in this case, what are we given? We have been given that A is 100, which is the first term, first number. The common difference is 4, because all, all go in the table of 4. The last number, Tn, remember Tn is also the last number. That is 996. So this is the last number, Tn. And we are asked to find how many numbers are there. If you start counting from 100, 104, 108, how many numbers are there in all till 996? Counting 100 and 996 both. So in order to find this also, we are going to use the formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Substituting. In fact, we know Tn, the last number is 996 is equal to a is 100. Plus, we do not know what is n, so n minus 1 as it is, into positive 4. I'll take the 100 over here. So 996 minus 100 is equal to 4 bracket open n minus 1. Just taken the 4 before the bracket. Nothing else. Then, uh, if you subtract 996 and 100, you get 896 is equal to 4 into n minus 1. Then take the 4 down. It's dividing over this side is n minus 1. So 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 twos are 8, 1 carry, 4 4 are 16. So 224 is equal to n minus 1. So 224 plus 1 is equal to n. Therefore n is equal to 225. So there are 225 numbers between 100 and 996 which are divisible by 4. Thank you for watching.